Greetings, preschool family. It is Christmas 2020, and like everything else since March, it's quite different. It saddens us that we can't invite you into our beautiful worship center this Christmas for our normal Christmas program, and then into the fellowship hall for a nice fellowship afterwards. But we're still continuing to do our best to be safe and keep our doors open. In a season that a lot of my peers have had to close their doors entirely or open them only to close them a few weeks later, we feel very blessed that we've made it to the Christmas break. We want to thank you for all that you've done to help us accomplish that. Without your help at home, keeping children home when they don't feel well or there's someone in your home that doesn't feel well or when you know you've been exposed to someone with COVID, not keeping your children home during those times would have risked us having to close our doors. So we're very grateful that you have come along a side of us and helped us to keep preschool going. Thank you for the contributions that you've made of extra financial support that was totally unsolicited for supplies that we needed because we couldn't find them. Everything that you've done, the words of encouragement to our teachers, to the administration staff, we just thank you for all that you've done to help us keep our doors open. We have a little surprise for you that I think you will enjoy that Miss Chelsea put together for you to enjoy. I hope that it'll bring a smile to your face and a lot of warmth to your heart. Before we get to the video though, I'd like to read a little bit to you. It's called The Best Gift. The time came for Mary to have the baby. She wrapped the baby with cloths and laid him in a box where animals are fed. That comes from Luke chapter 2. Mary and Joseph were spending the night at a stable. They didn't get much sleep because that was the night when Jesus was to be born. Mary wrapped baby Jesus in strips of cloth, as all mothers do in Bible times. Then she laid him in a manger. This wooden box that she laid him in was where the animals usually ate their hay. What an exciting night for everyone, including the animals. Now, it was not only an exciting night way back then for those animals and the people that surrounded them, but that night was an exciting night for you and for me. You see, Jesus was born to die. Jesus came to this earth, a baby, just like we all did, but he died a young man, and he died a young man for all of us so that we could have saving knowledge and faith in him and live eternally with him. So I pray that if you do not know who Jesus is, that you will find out because he loves you just like he loves me. He loves all of us more than anyone else possibly could love us. You know, we love your little darlings and we love teaching them about Jesus. We love working with them and playing with them. And we thank you for sharing them with us in a time that might have been a little scary for you to share your child. We thank you for that. We hope you've seen as much growth in them as we have. And we're looking forward to the new year when we get to spend more time with them and pick right up with our learning. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. And thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for helping us to keep preschool going. Merry Christmas, friends. <laughs>
stay a savior. Gifted from heaven to a manger. The hope of the world alive for all mankind. All of the earth rejoice, it's Christmas time. So lift up your voice and sing out this praise. It's Christmas, born as the King rejoices. to all the earth and peace divine all of the earth rejoice it's christmas time it's christmas time so lift up your voice and sing out his prayer
babies. Who was Christ the Lord? The shepherds came to worship Jesus. Can you guys say Jesus? Thank you. That was good. Now some kings came from the east and they saw that star. They bowed to the baby Jesus and they gave him some gifts. So are you guys going to get some gifts at Christmas? Yeah? 